nothing good. The only memories you have about your father was how he brutalized your mother. Many of you don't know that the easiest way to make your children honor you is to love their mother. Is to love and value their mother. There is a way they rate you. They see you as a king. Whenever you are looking down, talking down on their mother, you are talking down on yourself. When you are talking to their mother, yes, my dear, okay, my love, okay, my darling, I understand. They see you as their hero. You think, you think, you think this thing is uh, women, if you follow their character, they will annoy you. I'm telling you the truth. No matter the spirituality and education of any woman, she must have a touch of Ogbanje. No matter the spirituality. What I mean by that, hold on, what I mean by that, you must see something that will just irritate you. It's free to lose your cool, but don't lose your mind. Get yourself back. Get yourself back. Get yourself back. You raise your hand, you are beating it. How dare you? Your child is there. You are lifting your hand on your... Ha! Have you noticed? Okay, this is Salah period. Have you seen those ram? Have you discovered that animals, the male, don't beat the female? The female will climb them, will do everything the male will be avoiding. Are you what I'm talking about? Except they want to mate them and mount them for intercourse. That is when they go after them. When the female is doing everything, the male doesn't respond. Animal soul. Okay, now be laughing. Animals don't beat their spouse. Any man that beats his wife is less than an animal. And I've told some of you in this place who are not married now. Some of you who are in relationship and you're not any guy that lifts up his hand, don't stay there. I'm just counseling you. People don't change. Hoping for people to change is to waste your time. Let them meet who deserves them. Let a man who beats a woman meet a wrestler of a woman who can collect the beating. Your skin is too fresh to collect slap. Let people meet their kind. Stop waiting for them to change. You're in a relationship now. You can correct it. Some men are just frowning their face. See, eh? If you frown your face from now to tomorrow, I love you. I will, I will say what I want to say. And after that, we share grace. Am I speaking to somebody here at all? Stop blaming games. Stop the blame game. Man up. The man ran to Jesus. Have you taken your children to Jesus? Have you brought them before Jesus? Not only did he go to Jesus, he took Jesus to his house. That's budding. The first budding was he took the children to Jesus. The second expression of budding was he took Jesus to what? His house. Is Jesus in your house as a father? You are here now, your child, you don't know if your child is in church or not. How can your child tell you, eh, I don't feel like going to church today. He eh, doesn't feel like eating that day. You're in my house, you say, I I'm going to church, so you are not going. You are living that day now. Your spiritual life, the spiritual life of your children should be, should be of paramount importance. One time I gathered my children, I said, I'll give a prize, who can quote more scriptures? And they started quoting, started quoting, started quoting, started quoting. They were quoting, they were quoting, they were quoting. I said, according to the number of your age, quote, they exceeded it. They were quoting, they were quoting, they were quoting, they were quoting, they were quoting. That was where London then. They were quoting and they quoted and quoted and quoted. I was overwhelmed. I was amazed. I said, okay, that involvement, am I speaking here? Devotion before they sleep, devotion when they wake up, that is the life to live. Draw them to God. Be intentional. Listen to me. I see pastors traveling with their wives all over the world every minute. I like it too. It's a sweet thing. Sometimes I see it, I get jealous of it. But my wife and I, we had a covenant that she's going to be around to raise them properly. When they are grown to a particular age, then she'll be with me in every program I am going. But it's sacrificial to see, to see her be with the children. Sometimes I just sit back and say, ah, if my wife were here, there are things I want to eat. I can't tell people. I can't describe it for them. They can't cook it the way I want it. 
Am I talking to somebody? I've eaten, as I travel around the world, I've eaten rubbish. Rubbish. I've eaten, I'm telling you, I've eaten rubbish. There was one time I went to a program at eight. That day I was almost like a pregnant woman in the toilet. As I'm praying, praying, the people, oh, I said, Jesus. I run to the toilet. I'm praying again. Mm, Jesus. I was on the pulpit. The thing came. I said, Father, not here, not here, not here. Father, not here. Please, 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 please. And God gave me grace. As soon as the anointing and everything, as I was leaving the pulpit, the thing came. I said, Lord, let me get to, let me get to, let me get. Have you rubbish? Am I talking to somebody here? But the children. I see their spiritual life. I see their work with God. I see their love for God. I see their passion for God. I know that God has granted our desires. Hear me, child of God. Man! How is your child spirit? Your child takes India him, takes weed and is smoking. It's a proof of a failed father. Failed father. Failed father. Your boy is 16. He has two laptops. Failed father. What is he doing with them? Press, press, press. Faith father. 17 year old boy. He has brought a girl to the house. Says in love. At 17. He, he came you with chop. My son asked me, he said, Dad, we're just talking one time. He said, ah, they don't beat children. I said, they don't beat female children. He said, eh. I said, you don't beat female children. You beat male children. Female children, you don't, you don't beat a woman. You don't hit a woman. You sit a woman down. But boys, you beat them. I've never beaten him one day. I'm only preparing in his mind that it's possible to chop king. I've never. He's well behaved. Too well behaved. My son is not from the West, but he greets me touching his, the toes. That's how I agree. You know, my children have won award. I'm, I'm not here to talk about them. Those of the father was absent. You grew up with your mother, and there was a little to which what she can do. I wish I'm talking to somebody here. Fathers, take responsibility. Stand. Your child is sick. You should not sleep. Am I talking to somebody right now? You should not sleep. Your child is not. You should not sleep. Your child is not okay. You should not sleep. Am I talking to somebody here? You must be there. At one time, my dog, one of my children was not feeling too okay. I canceled the program, flew, flew to go and meet them. And I sat there and said, what is the matter? Cancel the meeting. Meeting can go. This one is my life. This one is my life. Sat down. I said, okay. The Lord is your strength. Stand with them. I go there. I put them in the car. I carry them to school. By myself. I drop them in school. One day, my last daughter forgot her what's it, food in, what do you call it? A lunchbox. She said, Dad, go home and get my lunchbox. I said, Yes, ma. I went home with the driver. I got the lunchbox. I came back. I brought the lunchbox. She now said, Are you coming back to pick me? I said, Yes, ma. I came back, went in the car, leave them with memories. There are things they grow up and they remember. Am I talking to somebody here? There are some of you, you have no memory about your father. In fact, the only memory you have is a bad one. You bought a gogoro, you bought a cigar, you collect, you chop slap or nothing. 